Welcome friends to unit 3.5. If you've made it to this video, congratulations. This week you're going to turn in your final draft of your persuasive argumentative essay. That means that this week is a revision week. Well, not a revision week, it's an editing week. Maybe some revisions left, sharpening. So edit your essays, make them clean, check for your commas, make sure your questions have question marks at the end. I've been dropping a bunch of question marks lately. And uh, really go through, check that your quotations have author tags that you say so-and-so said this or quote from so-and-so, et cetera. Double check your in-text citations. If you have, a paraphrase or summary, they need a citation. These are the hidden ones. The, my, the easiest way for me to, to find if someone isn't going to cite properly is by finding their first statistic. And if they just put a statistic with no citation, then I know that they're not going to properly cite their summaries or paraphrases, right? It's easy to catch the quotes, they're all quoted. But the information that we pull in and we don't quote, that we just paraphrase or summarize, they don't have those glaring quotation marks to remind us. So make sure every sentence, paraphrase, summarized, has a quotation. Another thing that to double check for this week, well, not the week, this unit before your final draft is due, another thing to check for is that um, your tone. No personal pronouns, especially in your introduction. I could read an introduction and I could lay down a bet on whether or not that person will break the personal pronoun plane. It's kind of like breaking the, the fourth wall and acting. You can't use I, you, we, us, can't use them. For a tone, they are too informal for an academic essay. APA won't allow them. Finally, my last pet peeve here that I always I always catch here, I want to make sure that you, you avoid this, contractions, right? Unless you're going into labor, you don't want contractions in an APA essay. A contraction is when you take two words, you combine them with an apostrophe, don't, can't, won't, shouldn't, contractions. You just separate them out. Should not, cannot, will not. So no contractions, no personal pronouns. Remember your author tags and cite all of those paraphrases and summaries. You do that, you'll be in pretty good ground uh, for your final draft. So good luck out there.